Everybody watch the pixel blend. Hello everyone. Today I'd like to introduce you to the latest release from Black Forest Labs, the Flux tools. And we are using it uh, today for um, our architectural imagery. I've built a little workflow in Comfy UI for you where all the tools are integrated and uh, yeah, we can choose between some processes uh, to make use of them. Uh, I've prepared a little example again um, for get you started with this. Basically, we are generating an image, we are editing it, and in the end, we are sending it to um, create a little animation uh, from Cog Video X model. Uh, all of this is open source and free, and you can just download it and have fun with it. So let's dive in. In case you missed it, um, Black Forest Labs just released Flux One tools, a collection of models to have more control over uh, the image generation from Flux One Dev. So we have now the Flux One Fill model. This is used for in painting and out painting. In painting means you have an image and define an area. Um, with a mask that will be changed. Out painting is basically to extend your canvas of an existing image. For example, here you have uh, the generated uh, close up of an eye, and you extend this image to uh, the example over here. And uh, we can now control the generation with a Kenny and a depth map that we most likely will generate from a 3D environment before. And we have a, a Flux1 Redux model. This is basically a style transfer model from a reference image like you see here. Uh, these parts and the composition of it will be used for your generation then in Flux1 Dev. For the video output, we are using uh, the Cog Video model, an open source model from China, and uh, version 1.5. This is the latest release of it. And uh, Kijai made it possible to use it in a Comfy UI. He also provided uh, an overview of existing models from Cog Video X, and we are using the 5B Image to Video 1.5 version, which you can see here. And this is the workflow we are using. The first step you have to do is to put all the models in the loaders over here in the first section. And we also need um, the inputs for the image generation. The inputs used for this example are again coming from a low effort scene again from 3ds Max rendered in V-Ray. I rendered a curvature path for the Kenny and a ZDEV path for the depth outputs. And uh, all of this took me about 15 minutes, including rendering and building the scene. By default, the workflow will generate an image from your input over here and it's set to use the LoRa workflow uh, with the number zero over here. This means the workflow will make use of the Flux1 Dev model and use the Dev LoRa model to generate an image. To switch the functionality, we just set this switch here to another number. So basically, for example, if you want to in-paint something, we use number two over here and we enable this group over here and disable this one. So now we have um, the uh, in-painting process activated, but uh, for the start, we just want to generate something. So this will be set to the default value again. So I have prepared the prompt and we have the inputs and basically that's all you need to do to just generate your first image. So let's go. Unfortunately, I can't record and generate at the same time as um, the Dev1 Flux model is really huge and needs to be loaded into the VRAM. So there are not enough resources even on my machine to record and generate at the same time. But um, you can see uh, the image generation times over here. 
the base image took 1 minute and 11 seconds and the video output for 77 frames took 5 minutes and 42 seconds. So overall we had uh, for the automatic stage from an input image to the video output of about 500 seconds. Most likely you don't want to generate a video directly from your first generation and uh, to prevent that you have two ways. You can um, just disable the whole video output with this button over here and we can set the preview chooser to um, wait for our input to progress this image to the video output. So now we don't um, have any video again produced, so this would be uh, 400 seconds less time for the next generation. And we want to uh, now in-paint something into this image over here. To do this, we copy this image and we paste it into the other input window over here. Um, there we define uh, with the mask editor what we are going to change. In this case, I'd like to change um, the whole uh, windows here over there. So I just paint this roughly out and save it to the image. So here I define with the prompt what I want to see. In this case, I want to get rid of the windows. So it's a completely closed facade. Then I um, switch to the in-paint process over here. I disable the actual group and enable the in-paint group. And then I hit generate. As you can see, this worked very well. Uh, the windows are gone now. Here you have a comparison, the image uh, we had and which we had now. And um, this took 1 minute and 16 seconds and we want to edit this image even further. So we do this thing again, we copy it, we paste now this image over here, we edit a mask again. And for example, we would like now to um, add another window which will look more like this. We fill this mask here, save it, and now we say it's a horizontal flat window. And we can um, increase the condition over here to have a much more of an impact and now we generate again. So in the first try the um, flux guidance was not strong enough and uh, also the, the prompt was not defined enough and I changed that in the second try and uh, now we have this uh, result over here. And we can compare the both images over here again. Those were the render times, uh, exactly 1 minute and 1 minute 30 for the last both tries. So we can continue like this um, how often we want. Or um, for this example here, we just use the third mode, the outpainting mode now. And this is um, basically that we will copy this image from here and paste it again over here. Now that we uh, switch the process over there um, to the third uh, the, or the fourth option and enabled the uh, respective group over there, um, we now are in the outpainting mode and um, I'd like to add uh, some space to the left and to the right. This is by defined by the number of pixels this canvas will be uh, added. And then we just hit generate again. Now I let it generate uh, three variations of this image. As you can see here, um, these are the three images I just generated. Each took about um, three minutes. As you can see here, these are the render times. And uh, while doing it, I um, 
edited the prompt a little bit and I lowered the flux guidance too. And now that we have found our desired image uh, and created what we want, we will have a final generation, this time again with a video output uh, by enabling this group over here and then another generation will happen. Build it tool, skyscrape desire, bites and bits, ignite the fire, from code to vision, towers rise. In tech we trust, In tech we trust. the dream applies. Virtual walls, Virtual walls. with perfect lines. GPU hums, art redefined. Art redefined. So I have finally found out that I can uh, rec record and generate at the same time at least for the video part. Um, so this is our final result for uh, what we created today um, and this image also came out. All of this came here from this uh, input image and here are the render times for this process. The last feature of this workflow is the Redux model from Flux Tools and to use this we switch back to the default mode. Uh, we enable uh, everything that we need and disable everything that we don't need. And we turn on, on the Redux mode with this switch over here and we have a value for it over here. In this case uh, let's use a high value to see what it does and we hit generate again. As you can see here, this image now is heavily influenced by this input over here. Um, you will most likely try for yourself and uh, you can also use this Redox model in all the other processes. Render times are here. And that's basically I'm it. So yeah, if you like what you see, Crops let me know in the comments, the spread the word about it, follow my and socials and leave me a like. Uh, yeah, see you in the next video. GPU soundtracks, arts at its best. From that to death, structure descending the cloud of creation with the known van. Power on the world lights in you. From close guards, vision breaks.